Hey guys, this is my video on uh, disabling live tiles and also on removing tiles. So let's say I don't want my Netflix tile to keep updating. I go on the tile and I right click and then I press turn live tile off. And what this will do, this will just stop it from auto updating. So let's go to New York Times and do that because that will make more sense. Okay, now it's just New York Times. It's not going to keep updating. But let's say I right click again and then press live, live tile on. It will keep updating to whatever the new stories are. The reason you may want to do this is say your computer is a little bit older or you just don't want these live tiles to be taking any memory. You can do this and you'll be completely fine. Now let's say you have what I was talking about in my Windows 8 review video. This giant pile of junk. You, you can't delete it because if you delete it then you lose the application. But you just do not want it cluttered because you don't know where to organize it. Right? So you go to it. So let's say I want to go to my uh, media player. As you know, let's say I want to go to my printer software. And let's say I don't want this to stay on my start menu. I can just right click. And down here, it says unpin from start. If I do this and it leaves, well, I can't access it anymore. It's not here. It's not on my, des it's not on my desktop. So what I can do is go to the bottom right. And then I go up to search. And then I can type in uh, Kodak, that's my printer brand. And under all of my applications, it'll show me everything as Kodak. And right here, I have this status monitor that I just deleted from there. Let's say I want it back. Once again, I right click, go down here, print to start menu, and it's back where it was. Comment and subscribe, and let me know if you have any more suggestions for tutorials or whatnot for Windows 8.